Avilio. Welcome, wizards, witches, and nomads. My name is David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day in visiting my channel, Wands and Reviews. It is unknown what her first name is, but Caro is part of the pure blood Caro family that is part of the Sacred 28. She was capable of casting charms and spells of the dark arts and could apparate and perform some non-verbal magic. Caro was also a member of the Gellert Grindelwald Alliance and one of his devoted acolytes that formed his inner circle. She accompanied Grindelwald to Paris and took part in the murdering of a non-magic family where she personally cast the killing curse on the family's young son. The home was then used as a temporary safe house while they searched for Credence Barebone. While in Paris, Carol attended Grindelwald's rally at the cemetery at the Lestrange Mausoleum, but when the Auras came in to break it up, Caro disapparated away only after crossing the enchanted fire that tested one's loyalty to Gellert Grindelwald. Later, during the events of The Secrets of Dumbledore, Caro, along with Vinda Razier and Credence Barebone, now known as Aurelius Dumbledore, tracked Newt Scamander to China, where he was looking for a mother chillin that was about to give birth. They attacked Newt Scamander and killed the mother chillin and kidnapped the newborn chillin baby for Grindelwald's use. But that's not all. Caro's story will continue. Okay, Caro was first seen using a wand in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and the Noble Collection has not yet replicated her wand. So I took it upon myself, and referencing the book, Fantastic Beasts, the Crimes of Grindelwald, Movie Magic. I replicated Caro's wand, and today I would like to share Caro's wand with you. This is my replicated wand for Caro. Made from an unknown wood and an unknown core, this wand measures in at 14.75 inches in total length. The wand is a simple, basic baton style. However, it is narrower when compared to other wands. The shaft is mottled brown, but darkens to a more solid brown as it reaches the plain handle. The wand is easy to grasp and manipulate, but it would seem that this wand is not made for large rough hands, but made for a more petite size with a gentler handling. But we all know that Caro, when it came to it, she could be as cold and rough as need be and would cast the darkest of spells with her wand. I'm really happy with how this wand turned out. What do you think? Do you think I replicated the wand as accurately as I could only using a single image? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay. I contacted Maja Bloom, who portrays Caro on her Twitter account, and I asked her what she thought about the wand that I replicated, and she kindly replied. I replied my thanks, and I again asked if her character Caro had a first name, because I'm always intrigued what a character's full name might be. I waited to see if she would reply to my question. She graciously did. 
and unfortunately, she cannot share that information just yet. So we have to be patient and wait for an official announcement to find out what Carol's first name will be. I do want to thank Maja Bloom for taking time to answer my questions, and it's very much appreciated. Merci. I hope you enjoyed this wand replica video today. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my channel? I really do appreciate it, and remember to share this video with your family and all of your friends. Thank you, and have a day for the greater good.